Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we are going to see like uh, how we can actually show all the values in your axis. Let's say, for example, I have a graph here, bar chart with month and the sum of sales with respect to the different brands. If I select brand run, if you closely observe that there are the few missing months. Okay. The, let's say, for example, the money is not here. Okay. Now, if I select brand two, if you see May is here, but actually if you see the April is not there. So here, and sometimes it happens like that. We want all the, uh, all the values, all the distinct values, whatever for the given uh, category, we want to display on the chart. So how we can do this in power BI and uh, let's get started for this. So the main reason behind that, actually, it actually filters out the values are because they are actually from the same table. Once something is on the same table, then it will definitely going to filter based uh, on the slicer. So for that, actually what I need to do first, we need to create a distinct value and in a new table. So let's say if I go to table, ta uh, table tools and click on a new table. So let's see how it looks like. So let me do bar chart distinct months. So here is what I can do distinct of bar chart month. Once I do this, if you see, I have the values. Now I need to displace first this month with this one. Now, if you see its values are not correct. So we need to make a connection also in that thing. So if I go here, if I just take fetch bar chart here, let me do here and take a connection with this. Once it's done, then I have to go again. Now the values are here. If you see, if I select brand one and brand two, still, if you see, there are missing values, but now if I just go here, I have to select show item with no data. Now, if you see for brand two, April is there and for uh, Feb is not there. Now we will compare this actually with the, how it looks like if I just create a chart, let me do one thing quickly. Copy here, this chart, let me expand this and click on this chart. I just remove this thing and I just have this back. Okay. Now, if I just select here and show item, nothing will happen if you see. So brand one and brand two, if you see all the months are there here, few months are missing. So this is how you can create like on access on a given access, like all the months should be present. And let's say, let's take another example for this. I have this pie chart. Okay. In pie chart, actually, if you see, if I just clear the filter, I have three different categories, applicable for discount, discounted values, and the no discount for round shape. I have two per square. I have three. So let's say here also, we have the same issue. If I, even if I go here category and show discounted price, it will not appear if you say round and again, it get filters. So no, for this also, what we need. We need here new table. So we have to go to new table. Pie chart distinct category. So we have to take the distinct of here pie chart category. So I go here and I have to just select this thing. Now I have to select the pie chart, replace this category with this. Okay. Here it will not going to work as of now because we have not made any kind of a connection. So let's in a data model, we will connect this to the, if you see, we have this things uh, many to one and this thing. Now, if I go here, I have to select these things, select the chart, show item with no data. Now, if you see, if I select round, I have all the three legends. So this is quite helpful. And this actually asked by business that we want to see every time all the categories. Okay. Let's say if I say round, it does not have. So just to be on a memory front, they want to clear. Okay. These are all my categories for a given filters. Uh, so, and it has been uh, asked by business teams to have this kind of feature in your dashboard. Uh, hope you like this video. Follow for more Power BI updates. Thank you so much.